<laughs> Hi, my name is Rachel Davis and my title is General Engineer. This position is basically has me working as a project manager for construction projects, but for a government agency. So typically most construction is done or majority of construction is done through done through general contractors. So if you're driving through DC or you're driving through the DMV area, DC, Maryland, Virginia, and you see a sign that might say uh, Turner Construction or Clark Construction, those are all general contractors. But I work in DC, so if you're familiar with the DC Capitol, any buildings near them or in that vicinity is considered federal buildings. So I work on those as far as upgrading and maintaining them through construction. Um, so my task consists of scheduling. So scheduling just means making sure the project stays on track, uh, you're taking all the information that contractors or subs might give you and you're putting it into a program, printing it out, and having people follow it and give you updates, either weekly, usually weekly. Um, but sometimes, depending on the project, you might update it the full schedule uh, monthly and then you might give out weekly schedules. So that's one task. Um, the next task will be cost estimates. So... Depending on which side you're on, sometimes um, I'm putting it together and sending it out. And then sometimes if there's an issue, so say there's a water leak or um, something goes bad or wrong in the building, then I would have to estimate, okay, well, what's the length of the plumbing pipe? Um, what's the diameter? what's or if say a sprinkler head or something like that so you're just looking at the materials you're putting it all together and you're giving giving an estimate and then based on what it is my boss will say yes or no um on the other hand if you're on the other side we sometimes put the pro the whole project together and we send it out for bid and that means the gc would do their um, estimate and give their bid in to say hey yes this is how much we think the project is going to cost so it depends I could be on either side it just depends on what the project consists of um, also um, my test consists of contractor relationships which means communication so when I have all the information as far as estimates scheduling things like that you have to be able to communicate out um, and sometimes that consists of a statement of work. And the statement of work is basically just a breakdown of everything that um, consists of the project. And sometimes either I'm dishing it out or I'm actually creating it and then and then sending it out to a contractor to bid um, based on that work. So that's just a couple things. Um, also with projects, um, I have to walk the site. And when you walk the site, you have to make sure you have on uh, PPE, which means that's a hard hat, uh, safety glasses, a vest. So if you were outside doing work and a car were to work, walk past or a person, they would be able to um, distinctively see you, whether it's nighttime or daytime. Um, the next question is, what has working in your field, how has working in your field increased your leadership ability? Um, I would say the points for me, um, is you have to be able to listen. You have to, you have to be able to have patience and in construction, you have to really be good at remembering key facts because usually they'll put you on the spot. Like, Hey, do you remember such and such date and what happened, um, a couple months ago, um, uh, with the water line you have to be able to, to, to spit it back at them and say, yes, um, there was a sprinkler leak that happened in such and such area. We fixed it using this. So you just have to be able to be a good listener, remember key facts and be able to retain it and bring it back to your remembrance. Um, and then communication is a, a key thing. And then I also say being a minority or being a black female engineer it's very, and, I, and I'm in a male-dominated field that you have to be able to be a leader. It's just, I would say, um, 
instinct or a necessity because uh, there there aren't too many of us so leadership I feel like is just a quality that that follows you I I don't know what else to say um, what have you learned about yourself while working in your field um, that challenges are gonna come across no matter what it doesn't matter uh, what boss you have, what job you have, there will always be challenges. So even when you're thinking about school, like you're frustrated with school, it doesn't matter. As you get older, you're still going to have challenges. So you have to figure out how to best handle those situations and not to let that stuff stress you out. Um, also, I would say that, that it's very important to have a strong foundation. Um, even though if you might not have the best relationship with your parents or siblings or anything, you have to be able to find one person that you can confide in and that you can express yourself because it's not good to bottle all that in, bottle all of those things in. So it's good to talk it out. I know a lot of people don't like to talk it out, but, um, you have to be able to talk it out because you don't realize how much stuff will affect you maybe not in that moment but down the line it will or or everything will surface back up at the wrong time when you don't want it to surface up and um lastly i would talk about your strengths and your your strengths and your weaknesses um it's important to know personally your strength and your weaknesses because that's only going to make you better and that's only going to push you to your highest potential um and those are all, all the things that I have to say.